So today the first thing is to fix the priming pan to the lock plate. For that we will drill the screw hole into the priming pan. To find the right location, I clamped it into the Ys, so both parts are clamped together. Now I can drill the hole directly, or mark the hole with a bigger drill of this diameter uh, to the lock plate. The next hole shall have the center diameter for the thread. So now drill the thread. We will make a normal hexagon screw to a countersink screw and then making the slot with a saw. So now we can cut the screw at the, at the opposite side and then we are uh, on the right length.
Seems to be okay to me. The no next job is to make uh, the shaft for the spanning of the uh, the shaft for spanning of the wheel with a chain. So it looks good. For the um, for the main shaft, we make a square bar twenty to twelve millimeters, and then we will bring it to the right shape with a file. So we cut it out now. So that's the raw part for the main shaft. So to keep it in one axis, when I file it down right now, I will mark the center line of both sides. So now we have a raw part with center on both sides and now we can work down that area on round and then later the front of it on 8 or 9 millimeter square for the 
wrench to for spanning and the op, uh, and the thicker side will have a place to take the chain and a six millimeter shaft at the end where will be the uh, the the uh, opposite side bearing so So this way we get it more and more round. After making the bevels we have an octagon shape and now we can bring it to round shape slowly. Should be overall something about 12.5. Here it's still a little bit big. So still a little bit filing.
Now we have a round shaft and the centering should be okay. Now we need a tip. Uh, uh, this round shaft at least is only five millimeters and the rest should be square. So I marked with the handsaw where the square shaft for spanning shall start and now I will grind the first row with the angle grinder and the rest with the file. So the square shaft for the spanner is done and also the, um, the round part that will sit in the lock plate is done only and it's still relatively centered and I have a difference eight point five four and eight point eight one so a difference of roughly 0 0.3 millimeters that I can eagleize and then it will be okay and then I have to make the end of the square conical so That's all for now. And that part will get into here. <laughs>